Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare Zombies video. In this video, we're going to be showcasing my boy Andre. Okay, guys, we are going to be showing his roots, his past, and getting the storyline quotes that we get from Willard Weiler talking on Shaolin Shuffle. I definitely think you guys are going to like this one a lot, but before we get into that, I want to show you something really quick. I'm reloading. I hit once. 24 away! 24 away! Let's fucking go, dude! Yes. I'm twice. I've been dagged a few times. 11 seconds ahead, baby. Let's go. You're welcome, guys. You haven't recorded, right? Just ended recording. Wait, there's still, there's not so yes guys indeed Mia and Luna ended up beating the Easter egg world record off stream and we are extremely stoked we beat it by like 11 seconds so it was definitely really really cool but uh, anyways guys now I'm going to play all the quotes that we hear on Shaolin Shuffle and honestly I think that they are pretty stinking interesting so without further ado let's get right into it after landing his first acting gig, performing in a small off-Broadway production at the age of 10, his dreams became reality, and the birth of a new life in show business began. As a young actor, Andre landed roles in various television commercials and made many one-time appearances as a background character in some popular sitcoms, which provided him the experience and face time he needed. His eventual role in the daytime soap opera Beverly Hills Hospital catapulted him to daytime stardom, where he was known as TV's bad boy and was adored by fans of the show. Though he was familiar with my work, he had only seen a few of my films and heard the occasional rumor. I assured him that unless they were praising my work, none of those tales were true. Besides, next to growing up in the Bronx, making one of my films would be child's play for him. With that assurance, he accepted. Ah! His background could have been its own film. Andre Wright grew up in the South Bronx, filled to the brim with its fair share of graffiti, drug dealers, and ladies of the night. He grew up surrounded by turmoil. This kid was the stuff dreams are made of. Raised solely by a single mother, he took a different path than the countless others littered around him, choosing to focus on theater and entertainment rather than earn street credibility. He longed for a way to get himself out of the ghetto. And with a stage at his disposal at a local youth organization known as the Bridges Society, each week he did just that by becoming the characters he played and forgetting the world he was entangled within. He is the third of the four. His soul endures through the darkness. The time is nearly at hand. If you dig deep enough, you can find the truth. Sometimes the truth is harder to believe than the lie. Alright guys, so those are the quotes that we get about Andre, and they are extremely interesting. We learned that Andre grew up in the Bronx, and he went to this thing called the Bridges Society and started to act, and acting was the way to escape from the world that he was in that was intertwined with so much violence and drugs and ladies of the night and all that stuff and it's really interesting to see that he kind of had a cinderella story you know he was brought up by his mother and unfortunately that's kind of a stereotype when it comes to african americans and it's really cool to see that he was able to you know use that outlet at the bridges society to act and then end up making it you know out and he ended up getting a role on the sitcom which was really cool beverly hill hospital and then he was able to make his way to a willard weiler film and although he had only seen a couple he did hear rumors about willard weiler but he assured andre that they were probably false if they were crazy and unfortunately andre believed him because willard weiler we all know he's crazy but 
it's really interesting to see that and it's also really interesting to see if Andre is going to play a major part at the end of the storyline let me know any thoughts you guys have do you have any you know thing that really spoke out to you here that I'm totally missing because I'm sure you guys have plenty of crazy crazy stuff that you guys probably have not realized but down in the description in the top like the top link I'm gonna have the one for point Dexter if you guys want to check that one out make sure you do and uh, anyways guys thank you so much for watching my name is Greg FTS the zombies extraordinaire have an amazing day and I'll see you guys later in my live stream or video depending on what I end up doing later on so thanks guys I'll see you later and peace